Hey there everyone, it's Laurel here and welcome to another video of my Simply Card Making video series here on the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making this card right here and I'm going to be doing some stenciling, some distress paint, some distress inks, and I'm also going to use that fancy new masking pen that's out on the market. I finally got a hold of it and it's that Moloto, 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 I don't even know how to say it right. Uh, but it's the masking pen. I'm going to show you that in just a second. I'm using this cute little stamp from the Sweet Stamp Shop. Um, and I'm just stampling, stamp, stampling, hello, stamping it onto a little circle die there. It comes with a cute little face as well. And I'm using some of that uh, Onyx Black pigment ink because I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on some embossing powder and heat set that. Total optional step. You can stamp it with some black permanent ink like, uh, you know, Memento or the Ranger Jet Black ink, whatever you want, but I'm going to heat emboss it because I want these lines to stay black and crisp because I'm going to be doing some, you'll see, you'll see why I did this, but again, this is an optional step here, but because I use that pigment ink, it stays wet longer, so I was able to sprinkle on some of that embossing powder and heat set it. So here are the pens here. They come in two different uh, sizes here. You can get the two or the four and you can see the difference in the sizes here. And it's it also comes with a refill as well. So um, I, I have a lot of masking products. I've got some liquid frisket, I've got this, I've got some uh, rubber cement, I've got all different kinds of things, but this is by far the easiest because it's in a pen format and you just color it on. No more having to dip a paintbrush into your liquid mask or anything like that. I just find this to be very, very easy to use and it works very well. It goes on blue so you can see where you're putting it down and it dries very quickly, surprisingly enough. So I like that it comes in two different tips here. So I'll use the other tip in just a second. Uh, so I'm just going in making sure I've got the whole image masked off and it took a few minutes to dry, not long at all. It's not sticky or wet to the touch or shiny so you know it's dry. So I'm going in with some Gathered Twigs and Ground Espresso, which is one of the new uh, Distress Inks color of this year. And I'm just going to go in and add some Distress Inks right over the top, which is why I wanted to heat emboss that image to make sure those lines stayed nice and black and crisp. So here I am going in with the Ground Espresso, which is just a beautiful, beautiful brown color. Ground Espresso was a no-brainer for me. Uh, anything that has to do with coffee, I'm going for it. <laughs> so I'm going to take this little honeycomb stencil by the Crafters Workshop. I'm just going to lay it right over the top. And then I'm going to take that same Ground Espresso ink, and I'm just going to go over the whole image here. And it's going to put on that pattern. So any, any stencil that you have would work for this. And I just like how it gives you that little pattern. Very, very easy to do. And now it's time to remove that uh, mask. And you can just take your finger and you just push it away. It works so good. They also have some adhesive removers uh, on the market. The one I'm gonna use right here is actually no longer made, but there are some other ones and you can rub it away that way. Or you can use like an eraser, you know, that pink eraser you can get from the office or the Target store. Um, I think that would work as well, but it works so great. It masked my image perfectly, dries quickly, and it comes off very easily. So I'm very, very impressed with these pens. So I'm gonna go in with some glossy accents here and just go over the coffee, uh, you know, mug here and everything. Because, you know, usually your coffee is, is, is in a glass. <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna go in with the glossy accents here. I think this, this set is so cute, so stinking cute. Anything coffee, I'm a sucker for, I gotta say. And I went ahead and die cut, that's the Avery L Burst label. I went ahead and die cut that off camera and I'm showing you the shine that you're getting from the glossy accents there. And here I'm gonna go in with the bigger tip and I'm just gonna go around the edges here of the circle. You'll see why in just a minute, but I'm just gonna mask off around there because I'm gonna go in with some distressed paint here in just a second and I don't want it to you know, go over into my circle area here. So I'm just taking the pen and just drawing right on uh, not a clean circle as you can see it's somewhat of a mess but it doesn't matter I just want to make sure that I'm masking off that area right there just in case I go over uh, into the circle you'll see what I mean in just a second it'll make a little bit more sense than what I'm saying right now <laughs> okie dokie so I've got that down and again it doesn't take long to dry at all once it's dry I'm going to take this distress paint this is in the color picket fence and I'm just going to swipe all around the edges there, covering up all those little uh, burst lines of the dye. And you can see I'm already going onto the mask that I just put down, so that's why I did it. If you're careful, 
you don't have to do that, but better safe than sorry, in my opinion. So I've gone around and created this whole kind of like whitewash with the distress paint here. And then once um, it's dry, I'm going to zap the paint with my uh, heat tool here just to dry it along. And then once all that's dry, I'm going to remove the mask. Now in hindsight, I should have waited to remove the mask, but I didn't know I was going to go in and add a second color around the edges. So, you know, you know, I just kind of, I, you just go with it, you know? So this is how easy it is to remove this stuff with your fingers, an eraser, whatever you've got. It really um, is so, I'm very, very impressed with it. Very impressed with it. It's very hard to get, but I know that Ellen Hudson has it in stock right now. So here's where I'm talking about adding in that second color. That was a little bit too white for me. So I'm taking the Ground Espresso Distress Paint and I'm just gonna swipe around the edges here just a little bit. You can use Distress Inks if you want to. I just like the swipe marks that the paint's leaving behind. Uh, so I just wanted to go in and add that over the, some of the white just to tone that white down just a little bit. It was a little bit too white, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to take my Copic marker and add a little bit of shading to the coffee pot where I didn't add any of the glossy accents. And that's it. We're good to go. That's the card. So fun. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. I, and here's where you can pick up all the shine from the glossy accents and also from the black uh, heat embossing there. So I've also got three other videos that I can share with you today. Uh, right here and if you click on each one it'll take you to it. The first two are using, uh, the first one is using gelatos, the second one is using distress inks, and the third is using those Zig Clean Real Brush Color Markers, the title that I can never remember. <laughs> so you can click on those to check it out. So thanks so much for watching and I will catch you back here next time for another video.